So let's move further. So now we will be adding one more feature in our application that is user will be able to make comments on the post. Now first of all we will be making a API for that and then we will be implementing that on our on our react.js side okay in next video. In this video we will be implementing API for that in server file okay. So here come to this uh, post model in here. Now we need to add a, one more field that is a comment c o w -E n t s right. So in our post we will have comments and comments again will have will be an array right and the each individual item in array will look like will have this text now this will be a comment and this will be of type string at each individual item in array will be a text right of type string and here we will be also storing who posted this comment right posted by and this posted by will be by posted by will be an id of the user who posted for that i can here write type and here we have object id yeah this one and we need to add this this will refer to the user model like so i can put a comma in here okay yeah so our each individual item in the array will have type and the posted by and posted by will be the id of the user who posted the comment okay beautiful so now let's implement the route handler for that okay so we can copy this route instead because our update oh what was uh, our comment route will almost be will look identical like this okay so here instead of like i can write uh c o w m n d comment okay so user will be making a request to this comment right and from the front end let's say here i can write const c o w m n d comment and object and it will have a text right and request dot body dot text so we will be sending this text from the front end right and what else we are posting uh, we want this posted by as well so we have access to the posted by and we post posted by and we have access to the user who is currently logged in in the request dot body right or not re in request dot body request dot user because here we are verifying the user right and we are uh, retrieving the user from the token right from the token and we are attaching the user details in this request dot user so we have the details of the user who is currently logged in right we are getting retrieving that from the token and user need to have the token right in order to make a comment on the post so we can retrieve the user details from the token and from that we can access underscore id like so right okay now instead of the likes here we can write comments we want to push in our in our comments array c o w b n t s comments array what we want to push we want to push this right so here i can write comment like so and that's pretty much it here we need to send the post id as well from the front end right okay now why we need we need to do one more thing and that is we need to populate because you know this posted while why why will be a just an id and why i want to expand that id i want to get the name of the user who posted right i don't want just an id so here i want to populate this posted by right okay inside the comment right so in here i'll write dot populate and i will populate c o w m e n t s inside comments i have posted by b capital b y right yeah and i want to get in the second option i can pass i want to get the id of the user who posted and i want the name of the user okay yeah this is also we want okay we want to populate this posted by field right okay in the comments yeah because if we will not do that we will got, we will get just an id of the user and we want to show the name as right we want to show the name who posted this comment that is why we are populating it okay yeah so i think this is this is this should be the logic i and that's pretty much it yeah this is simple right so this logic was pretty simple pretty straightforward now we will be implementing the front end right or uh, the react js logic in the next video so i'll see you guys in the next video